everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had another busy week of racing with 11 drivers seeing action, everything from quarter midgets to the NASCAR Cup Series. So let's get right to the results. Anthony Alfredo was at his home track of New Hampshire Motor Speedway in his number 38 Dude Wipes Ford Mustang. And to say it was a rough day would be an understatement. On lap 32, another car hit Anthony from behind, sending him into the wall, resulting in heavy right rear damage. The front row motorsports team was able to make quick repairs so Anthony could stay in the race, get laps, and earn some points. Here's a statement after the race from Anthony. Tore up car and no brakes made for a long race. Stinks to have a day like that before the break, especially with dude wipes on our Mustang and a lot of my supporters at the track. We'll take time to regroup for when we come back. Up next for Anthony, Watkins Glen International on August 8th. Jesse Love was at Berlin Raceway for the ARCA Racing Series Zinzer Smart Coat 200. Jesse qualified fifth in his number 15 Venturini Motorsports Mobile One Toyota. Jesse ran in the top five for the entire race and brought home another top five finish, his fourth in his last five ARCA starts, including a win at Irwindale. Up next for Jesse, ARCA Menards East at Iowa Speedway this weekend. Connor Mozak was at Brainerd International Raceway for the Trans Am TA2 Series race where he took on the 2.5 mile, 13 turn road course. Connor finished fourth in his Team Scott Legacy Racing number 28 Nick Taylor Chevrolet Camaro. Up next for Connor, super late models at Five Flags Speedway this weekend for twin 100 lap blizzard races. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Grant Thompson was at Jefferson Speedway in Cambridge, Wisconsin for round three of the Tundra Super Late Model Series, where he qualified fourth, finished fifth in the fast dash. In the A main, he started eighth with the invert and brought home a 15th place finish. Let's hear from Grant after the race. What's going on guys, Grant Thompson here. Uh, it's Sunday, we finished up round number three of the Tundra Super Late Mile Series last night at Jefferson Speedway. You know, I just wanna talk about how the race went. It was it was, it was a rough one. This probably was maybe one of the worst ones we've had in, in, in the Tundra Series, but uh, it was really hard adjusting to the track. And you know, considering we had limited practice, we didn't have the best tires, it, it was real rough. But um, at the end of the day, at, in, uh, towards the end of practice, I think we were like P5 or P6, Went in the qualifying pretty confident, you know, we were in the top 10 in practice, so I was, I was confident about it, but, uh, you know, qualifying fourth, you know, it was really competitive field, those, these guys don't mess around, they, they put down, you know, one heck of a, one heck of a lap, and, uh, took the green, and I just, I struggled to, to find a, you know, a fast rhythm where I was comfortable with the car, running double file with those guys, we ended up finishing fifth in it, and, uh, you know, went into the feature, I think after the redraw, we were eighth, Anyways, you know, onto the feature, I uh, took the green, and it kind of was the same deal as the heat race. I, I struggled to find a good rhythm that I felt comfortable with, and, you know, I, I was fast. But I just, I don't know, I wasn't on my A game. I don't think I was aggressive as I needed to be. But it, it was it was rough. We, I mean, I somewhat had fun. I wish we would have had a better finish. We ended up finishing 15th, and uh, we're going to have to step up our game for the next one. But I thank you guys for listening. I appreciate it. One thing I love about this young racer is he always tells it like it is and takes full responsibility, a rare trait in today's world. Up next, Pro Late Models at Montgomery International Speedway this weekend. Cassidy Hines returned to her pro truck at Colorado National Speedway where the team struggled with a power issue and eventually found a damaged drive shaft was the problem. Cassidy qualified 15th. She had to pull off the track in the dash, started the feature in 5th, and finished the feature race in 7th, even after getting put into the wall. Up next for Cassidy, back in the pro truck at Colorado National Speedway on August 7th. Caden Honeycutt was at 67 Speedway Friday night where he started P1 in the heat race. He got jumped on the start and ended up finishing 2nd. Caden started fifth in the A main 
and fought a tight race car ending up in fourth. Caden was rained out on Saturday night, but up next for Caden, round two of the Virginia Triple Crown at Langley Speedway on Friday and Saturday. Jake Bowman was back at Irwindale Speedway for the SRL Pro Late Model Series where he qualified fifth and finished sixth in the feature race. Great run for that young 14-year-old driver from Huntington Beach. Up next for Jake, a busy week. Monday and Tuesday at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the INEX Summer Shootout, then to Lanier Speedway on Wednesday for the Summer Series, and finally off to Five Flag Speedway for his pro truck debut with Kurt Britt Motorsports. Wow, that's a busy week of racing. Hudson Bolger competed in round one of the Lanier Summer Series earlier in the week where he qualified 14th and then brought home a 14th place finish in the A main. Up next for Hudson, back to Lanier Speedway for round two of the Summer Series tonight. Carter Whalen returned to his home track at North Georgia Quarter Midget Association where he only competed in the heavy Honda class. Carter won his heat race, started P1 in the A main, and finished in second after swapping the lead several times with race winner Madison Pritchard. Up next for Carter, North Carolina QMA on July 24th and 25th for Twin Dixie pre region races. Landon Cox was also at North Georgia Quarter Midget Association where he finished third in his heat race and then won the A main. Up next for Landon, Twin Dixie Pre-Region at North Carolina QMA this weekend. New race face driver Cole Denton qualified on the pole and brought home a second place finish in his number 46 Mellow Yellow Bandit at Lanier Speedway in the INEX Lanier Summer Series. He then made the trip to Chris Motorsports Park in Cordell, Georgia, where he qualified second in a combined field of both Bandits and Outlaws. In the feature, he finished second overall and first in his Bandit class. Cole has two wins overall and eight Bandit wins in nine starts. Up next for Cole, back to Lanier Speedway on July 21st. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Joey East, who returns to the Arkham Menards East Series with DGR at Iowa Speedway on July 24th. Bryce Bizanson will be back in his super late model at Evergreen Speedway for the Summer Showdown on July 24th and 25th. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.